losing oneself through years of disease and surgeries. For me, I lost myself after years of inflammatory bowel disease and the intestinal surgeries and having close calls with death, outright confrontations with death, just like many of you at specific, and those confrontations were at specific times during that health journey. And that's disorienting, it's discombobulating, and it tends to steer a person off course in life to varying degrees. These death confrontations that we experience give cause to lose oneself, to lose confidence in one's body, to be compelled to have to steer one's life in a very different direction. It's sort of like falling off an endless cliff and then a person needs to find some way to stop this endless freefall. Meanwhile, many of those in our life circles, like friends, family, acquaintances, perhaps work colleagues, these life circle people continue to relate to our former self and they don't relate to the new person who is standing in front of them now, the person after disease and after these intestinal surgeries. Those life circle people can sometimes exacerbate and perpetuate the trauma that we've gone through from our disease and our surgeries. The new person that arises in us out of the ashes of the disease and the surgeries and these confrontations with death is important to note both for yourself and for those in our lives. And this new person in us needs to then chart a new course in life. And this new life course for us sometimes includes rediscovering portions of our former self which has been lost to the disease and the surgeries. For me, I found myself again in raw, epic, majestic nature, just like what you see behind me. In the mountains, surrounded by wildlife, and it was in these majestic natural settings wherein I accidentally discovered the state of flow, a place where my human capacity in terms of emotional and physical and psychological well-being and health and personage was healed, pushed to its limits, as I repeatedly took my body to the brink of its limits physically, thereby pushing me to my maximum emotional and psycho psychological limits while suffering at my outer reaches of personal safety when I'm hiking or climbing. That's what I'm referring to. This collision that I discovered accidentally in the flow state of pain, suffering, joy, elation, healing, and self-discovery Honestly, it's truly amazing. Each journey of mine into the mountains escalated my healing from the many ghosts left behind in me from the Crohn's disease and the intestinal surgeries, the ostomy athlete.